Oh, blast them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, um... Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, looks like the casing is cracked. Oh, comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the Static Telegraph Company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Static will be weakened. Only we are somewhat at a handicap. And there. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh, you will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage, if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. Miss Fry, I am so glad you could assist me. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a native telegraph that does not just invade dots Faster! and dashes, Miss Fry, but human voice. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm, sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the static telegraph company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small independent companies have had their lines sabotaged, and they have little means of finding any broken fuses, which are... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. It's... Especially as one needs a special government pass to get through the guards. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. Lovely view. Thank you. 
That should do it. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... Uh, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works.
Miss Fry, uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me at any time. Now that we've finished with that distraction... Who is that? Oh, you mean you don't know? Beautiful train you got here. Miss McBean was just telling me all about her. Name's Ned. How do you do? I won't take up more of your time. Uh, if you want to learn a thing or two about the finest transit systems in the world, you can find me at this address. Let us return to locating the piece of Eden. We need to reclaim London from Starrick. Who are my targets? It's not time for that yet. I didn't come to London to hunt curios. First understand the dance, only then become the dancer. Oh, so you're taking over where father left off. Someone has to. Evie, finding the precursor artifact will give us an insight into what the temple is intended. Jacob, I have information about Starek's associates that should be of use to you. Here.
This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. I don't see that cure arriving any time soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars. The train's ours now. May as well make ourselves at home. Another exciting night home for Evie Fry. Just on my way out, actually. I found the piece of Eden. What's this one going to do, hmm? Heal the sick, deflect bullets, control the populace. They're dangerous objects, Jacob, especially in Templar hands. Oh, you sound exactly like father. If only. Lucy Thorne is expecting a shipment tonight. She's Starrick's expert in the occult. I'm nearly certain she is receiving the piece of Eden Sir David Brewster mentioned. Sounds like fun. Mind if I join you? Promise you will stick to the mission. I swear. The contents of that box are worth more than your life and those of your entire family. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Thorne. Careful there, and double the guard on that cart. Now, Miss Thorne, there's the matter of some uh, papers for Mr. Starrick. If you'll just come this way. Very well, but make it quick. Whatever it is she's after, it's in that chest. There are gunmen on the rooftops. Can you dispose of them before I reach the cart? I was hoping for a challenge.
Did you find it? Actually. There he is! I think it's best we leave. What did you do? It's hardly the time for questions! Whoa! Come on! Jacob, careful! What is it? It's papers, Jacob! Documents research! the train for you. Like a paint, new rugs from Camden Loch, and my wee sister, the seamstress, did a discount on the curtains. You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins had found a shroud. The shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. If the assassins had found something like this, surely Father would have known. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. These look like directions. Are you coming? Fieldwork is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse.
Do you know, I think this map may be deep enough for the Kenway Mansion. Kenway? The pirate? Master assassin and pirate, yes. Come on! How much do you know about the Shroud of Eden? It's said to heal the sick. The popular myth is that it brings people back from the dead. But the assassin records say that's not true. I've never heard of one being in London, though. Do you really think Edward Kenway could have found one? He traveled extensively, so it's possible. But if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. But if it's true, what a fine it would be. Indeed. I'm eager to find out myself. Easy. It's surprising that you haven't already searched the Kenway house. Edward son of Haven joined the Templars. When he died, the house passed on to Haven's sister. And in all your time in London, you didn't go and have a look around? Weren't even a little curious? Truly, I didn't expect to find anything there. We... I think this is it. I think you're right. Look. I'll be in the study. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this is a Templar stronghold, it won't get any easier. But don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? <clears throat> Can you check over there? Of course. Please make sure to come again. That looks interesting. Miss Thorne is quite the collector. I feel like I'm being watched. I can't believe they've kept all of this. Come <laughs> on. 
Another assassin artifact. Goodness! <laughs> Something from Edward Kenway's time. This keeps up. I'm gonna tell her I'm not patrolling anymore. Be my guest. This should belong to the assassins. I wish father could have seen this. What are we looking for? I'm not quite sure.
mostly subtle, is it? Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. Assassins. Vault holes, vaults, a hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. An entire vault, filled with assassin history, left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later, or find a better cachet. Yes. We? I thought you preferred to stay out of field work. I... I was... 